I'm um, ready for my hair and makeup. My mom's here. Hello. Hi. Praveen's here. Hello. We have the stage door. Yes, um, that's us. We're ready to do our sound check. Um, come, let's see. Whoa, that's, that's amazing. We have okay, our dancers here. Just one quick run through. Everyone out, please. Everyone out. Awesome. Okay. First position for four guys, quickly. Really Only for four people. Any four people. Come on, let's go back and start our makeup and hair. Just a minute. Okay. Next. privilege and honor to see you sitting here next to the great Kanika Kapoor baby doll Chitya Kalaya um, Desi look and uh, the Jugni song uh, the so many more right? and so many more right go back <laughs> <laughs> we're more of a hip-hop rap based channel and one of the things that fascinated us was your work with uh, uh, Dr. Zeus and Shorty that Jugni G can you tell me how that whole concept came about well it was my idea um Honestly speaking, I used to listen to Coke Studio and uh, I actually love Pakistani Sufi. Mm -hmm. um, very fascinated by the whole um, you know, way of singing. Mm -hmm. um, so I picked up that song, I used to sing Jogini all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I took it to one or two different producers and, mm -hmm. I, and I asked them, I gave them my vocals mm -hmm. and I asked them to you know, put a mix. Um, I gave them a, what I wanted and uh, I knew exactly that I wanted a, a, a British rapper. Or a rapper gotcha. on it. Um, so uh, that's it. I went to him, and uh, I think he did a uh, did a really good job in in terms of the beat and the whole idea. And uh, that's how it came about. I mean, it, it was as simple as that, <laughs> to be honest. How do you feel about hip-hop and rap music in general, both on this side of the pond in America as well as the British artists? I think uh, internationally it works in a big way, even in India. I mean, uh, the whole new generation is, is crazy about the West, <laughs> you know. And, um, and they're trying to bring in that culture in Indian music, in Bollywood. But... Um, Somehow the masses mm -hmm. are very hardcore about the whole Indian tacky lyrics. Gotcha. I mean, honestly, I mean, if you... I but they feel good, they, you know. Somehow, it's just more yeah. open. It's, it just feels more free for us to be able to just say whatever we want, right. you know. We don't hold back. Gotcha. So, uh, it could be anything. The lyrics could be as, uh, you know, um, as much as... Uh, they sometimes mean nothing. Gotcha. And uh, at the same time, we have another uh, different genre of music which has beautiful, um, you know, ballads and, and soulful songs with meaningful songs, um, Sufi songs, spiritual songs. So I think India ha has an ocean of different kinds of, you know, varieties of work uh, and music. Um, and I'm trying to be a part of everything. So. Chitia Kalaya, baby doll, whether you're eight, or 80, you can't help but dance to that. How, where did that concept come about? That was, that, I mean, you don't even hear it, you feel it. You cannot hear that song and not move, you know? I don't know, I think uh, the credit goes to uh, the lyricist, uh, mm -hmm. the composer, and the singer. I think it's teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, put in a lot of effort in the song to sing it in a different way and mm -hmm. sing it in my style. Um, maybe that's what's working. Gotcha. Um, because I never like to copy and sing. Gotcha. I like to sing in my own style. Um, 
and uh, I don't know, there's something mm -hmm. that works. <laughs> Can you tell us about your up and coming projects? Because you got fans all over the world now with those two songs. I have, uh, I've had almost nine songs now. So uh, I've just released uh, a new song called Teddy Beer. Okay, Teddy Bear, <laughs> look for that. It's not Teddy Bear, okay. Teddy Beer. Teddy Beer. Okay. That's how we Indians pronounce it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you all have to hear the song, uh, the Teddy Bear song. Or I have. <laughs> मैं तेरी मैं तेरी मैं तेरी बार बिगल तू मेरा टैटी बियर मैं तेरी बार बिगल तू मेरा टैटी बियर मैं तेरी बार बिगल तू मेरा टैटी बियर A lot of new Bollywood uh, music coming up. Um, another new one came out yesterday uh, in a Kapil Sharma's movie, which is gotcha. a new movie coming on the 25th of September. Gotcha. Uh, there's so many more. I mean, I think almost every two three weeks there's a song coming. So I'm trying to kind of <laughs> hold on. You gotcha. know. I don't want so much work together. Right. But um, I, I have an, another new single coming out in the next six weeks. Oh. Okay. Um, so um, there's, there are a lot of big projects that are happening. Um, I just finished a, a huge concert um, uh, with uh, Naughty Boy and Emily Sandy. Oh, really? At the Royal Albert Hall. Oh my uh, goodness. Uh, for the BBC Proms, mm. um, we performed uh, with uh, the. You know the ATP, the Philharmonic yeah. Orchestra. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that was live. Um, so that was a very, very beautiful experience. Uh, a very different experience to be able to sing with. So I did a a, a tribute to Yash Chopraji. Oh, okay. So I did songs like Kabi Kabi. Gotcha. And, uh, classics, yeah. A lot of classics, which is very different to what I generally do. Gotcha. Um, so um, that was quite being quite ambitious actually <laughs> fantastic <laughs> so uh, there's so many more and uh, and we're working on a very interesting collaboration with with uh, someone out of India uh, any hints who that could you, be you know so, actually, it's <laughs> look for that guys it's on the verge. Gotcha. well I want to on behalf of AEG International and Bollywood USA I want to thank you so much hi this is Kanika Kapoor and you're watching AEG International Hi, this is Kanika Kapoor and look for me on Bollywood USA.